Um, the BC, mate. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just being silly, aren't you? So as this is an event where people are coming in from all around China, the people who are not living in Shanghai, everybody needed a COVID test, which is good. So this line here, this very long line, every single person has got to show their COVID certificate. And that is how they're not going to be spreading it. That's good. Although it is a pain sometimes to get so many tests, we've had probably nearly 10 now. Um, you know, that's why we're still safe in China. So we're ready to go into NWC. Let's go. <laughs> Got me, bunch. Yeah, okay. All right, Messi. So NWC is absolutely huge. We are in the first exhibition hall. We're gonna be walking around this event for the next couple of days, showing you 5G AI applications and sort of green sustainability moving forward in the industry. Right now, we're heading into the opening ceremony and uh, we're about to see the first keynote. Give you a few highlights and yeah, looking forward to it. Let's go. So they've had a number of industry leaders up on stage talking about the 5G AI cloud computing and big data now it's all gonna come together or start to come together to help industry progress and how hopefully by, by that they're going to start um, being able to help people that are kind of left out from the digital revolution. If this innovation can get to the, the sort of poorer people, then it will benefit society overall. There was there were snippets about, they found from statistics that if, if an area has a mobile broadband connection, it can actually um, alleviate poverty by up to 4%. Uh, within 12 months and up to 7% within a two year period. For the remainder of the day, we attended a number of other keynote speeches by industry leaders and found out what the future holds for telecommunications. We discovered there's a big focus on sustainability. It's now the next day and we're here at the exhibition halls and we're gonna take you around and see what cool things we can find to show you. Where are we? We are in Shanghai at Mobile World Congress 2021. Yeah, so it's a very special event. We've been invited here by Huawei and we are right here at the Huawei stand, which is huge. They've got a bunch of cool things to look at. So stick around for the whole video and we'll take you there. So here I am experiencing the AR uh, graphic on the screen. As you can see, I'm in this little garden area and uh, it's sort of being displayed and rendered on the screen right now and there's a big ass dinosaur coming over here. I don't like the look of him. He looks a bit scary. <laughs> Oi, I don't know about that. He's scaring me ears. Is he gonna breathe fire on me or something? Holy moly. All right, what's the next animal coming up? What are some of the real life examples for this AR technology? 60% are mm. used in the uh, travel and the entertaining. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the industry. And then we also use in the uh, education. Oh, okay. Like for the kids. Like yeah, the kids. yeah, yeah. When it's very interactive. Yes, yeah, so when you open the books, the, the, the AR. Yeah. Uh, maybe oh, I can see that working yeah, very well yeah. in schools, yeah. yeah for English work. learning and things English like that. Learning. Yeah, Very and interactive and, yes, and yes, fun. Yes. Yeah. Good stuff. So as you can see behind me, there's actually lots of uh, industrial applications for 5G and AI, but today, we, this video, there are actually links down below for some of those videos you've done in the past. But today we're just going to show you some more visual sort of uh, consumer related stuff. So that's, that's where we're at. Look at all of those phones live streaming there. 
We actually came across this yesterday, didn't we? But it's just the yeah. most absurd thing you've ever seen in it your is. life. So just so you know, live streaming in China is like massive. So you'll have like, there's, there's like massive celebrities who do live streaming in China and they're like really famous and they literally sell like millions of dollars worth of stuff on a live stream, right? It could be cosmetics, cars, fruit, furniture, anything you want, but they do it, man. Yeah, they're way, way ahead on live streaming here compared to we are in a lot of Western countries. Oh, they? absolutely. They do tons of live streams. And this is just one example of how far it can really go. You know, you look here and they've got actually a total of 56 phones. And I'm not sure that they're live streaming right now, but this would be a, a sort of setup that a big live streamer would have, and it's just kind of mental, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But yeah, big money in live streaming if you're one of the big players in the game. So the next thing we are looking at, as you can see on the screen here, there is a woman who is dressed all in black with a green screen behind her. And she's got lots of markers all over her and the camera and the software are working synergistically to, to show her movements almost instantaneously across a 5G network on the screen, which is pretty impressive. I've forgotten the moves already, but we're gonna have to give it a go. Oh, we did it. Woo! All right, so I've got a video to look at now, have I? All right, nice one. Yes, yeah, thank you. All right. How did I do, mate? It's all right, it looks it? good. Scan this. You look like a fool waving your arms around in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so that was fun. I'll show you now the end result of uh, what I just filmed there, and we'll move on to the next thing. So this is the next thing we're looking at. This is like a digital art studio, and it's a cloud AI based uh, thing. So I'm gonna have a go now. It looks kind of cool. So I choose the style first, yeah. right? Yeah, let's, this one here, yeah? Three seconds countdown. Okay, uh, take photo, then we upload the photo. Okay, so I've had my photo taken. Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you can scan the QR code to keep this photo. Okay, so Who's that then? Who's that? <laughs> so there you go, there's me. And uh, I'm in Starry Night. So can you tell me what this is about and what the applications are for it? Uh, we call it the AI Gallery. Uh -huh. uh, it's like a user camera, you can take a selfie. Then the AI will identify which part is you and which part are the background, and then cut you out. This, this technology, I think, in the future, will help the, a lot of designers to reduce their work. In the Huawei cloud, we can give thousands or ten thousands of different art styles. I don't know how to design a 3D model. It's okay, I just need to take a photo in the real life. Then I can choose some, one of the art styles I like. So basically, if it, if it for somebody who didn't know how to use Photoshop, yes. they can just take a picture of someone and have some like Photoshopped images and, yes. and different styles and different backgrounds, mm. all without knowing how to use an application. Yes. Yeah, just, just point and click, right? Yeah. A few seconds later, it comes out. Wow, that's cool, that's mm. cool, yes. yeah. Now this isn't really sort of 5G and AI, but we've come across something which looks pretty fun and I want to have a go. <laughs> I like table tennis and I haven't played it for a while, which is kind of strange because when I came to China, I had the stereotype that everybody <laughs> played table tennis and that I was going to play it all the time, which is just not the case. But bam, look at this. You're about to see me play. Let's see if I'm any good. I haven't played for a while, but let's see. How you doing, Ollie? Not very good so far. <laughs> I'm trying to hit you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, do spin, do spin. 
So what's your program so to do So we're going to do fast serve with spin. Okay, this, this should be, be fun. This is going to be a challenge. And they're going to go left and right as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. You feeling the pressure, Ollie? I am. Oh, I can't get the backhand ones at all. That's difficult. Yeah, okay. There's the data over there. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is. Uh, That's good. Thanks. This, this is your data. So basically, it's uh, giving me a robot sort of serving practice, as you can see, and then after it gives you all the data on here. So this was the speed of the robot, I guess, 10 meters a second. 6.41 centimeters and an angle of 12.47. Yeah. Anyway, that was fun. We'll go on to the next uh, application we're going to find out right now. Okay, cheers. Okay, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so the final thing we're going to show you here is the Huawei Smart Home. And basically, this, this is to show you how Harmony OS is not just an OS for phones. This is built into many IoT devices and it allows you from your smartphone to control any number of devices in your home, like ovens, water purifiers, vacuum cleaners, you know, you name it, pretty much you can control it from here. We're just gonna have a quick look around and then I'm gonna show you a particular oven that is a smart oven. Yeah, so can you tell me a little bit about how, how this works? I see this is Midia, yeah. um, not a Huawei product. So just explain how the tie-in is. Yeah, so uh, in this demonstration area, we have uh, quite a few products from our partners. They, these products are not actually uh, developed by Huawei, uh -huh. but uh, they are connected into our Harmony OS ecosystem. So I'll demonstrate here. Uh -huh. So this is a Huawei smartphone. And uh -huh. I'm just tapping my phone on this NFC module. On so this the, oven here. So this is an NFC tag, right? Yeah, this yeah. is a tag, and I'm just tapping my phone on this tag here. Okay. And it takes me to the. Uh, it's like a sort of like a control page here for this device. For this device. Okay. Yes. And as we can see from here, I can uh, easily control this device from from my smartphone. So this is an oven. Yeah. And you can set the temperature and the time and things yeah, like that, right? True, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we also have uh, we also have uh, quite a few uh, recipes here. So uh, as you can see, we can just simply choose one of them and get all these ingredients ready. Oh, so you choose that recipe and it tells you the ingredients and how to prepare it? Yeah, and then uh -huh. if we click this button, all the temperature and cooking time will be set up for you. Oh, automatically? Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's, true. that's pretty cool. So you just prepare it, put it in there, press the button. And yeah, and do you then done. get an alert on your phone when it's finished cooking? Yeah, yeah, that's true. When, when ah. you finish and you'll, you'll get a notification from, uh, from your smartphone. Okay, so what's the benefit of, of connecting this with the smartphone as opposed to just doing the oven manually? So if you are just controlling this oven uh, from here, then you can use like this button, this uh, uh -huh. button here. But when you are away from home and you want to control this oven, it, you can do that from your smartphone. Ah, oh, so, yeah. so you could make something in the morning and put it in the oven. Yeah. And then maybe one hour before you come home, you can switch on the oven remotely. Yeah. So when you arrive home, your food is ready and cooked. Yeah, that's true. Ah. And when you are away, and if your food is ready, your your smartphone will get a notification. Ah. When you are away from home, you know your food is ready. Ah, oh, that's pretty yeah. cool, yeah. yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. And that brings us to a close here at MWC 21 here in Shanghai. Please make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you to Huawei for inviting us. If you want to become a member of the team and help us out, you can uh, hit that Patreon link down below and join the team. Hope you enjoyed. See As you in always, the next one. Take, take care. care.